Hey y'all! Today we'll be doing another back to school stationery haul in preparation for my third year of college. And yes, everything is still online this semester except for exams in my two major subjects since we'll be having an in person, but these essentials and somewhat 50% essential supplies will be having their place for specific use. So without further ado, let's get started digging this box, although I bought this box for props. It's not really included in the ship items, but anyways, let's get started. <laughs> Please don't come for me in the comments, I know I have a lot of pens in my bag and desk right now, but screw it, I really love this pen variety. This is the Zebra Sarasa 0.5mm Vintage Edition Push Clip Chop Pens. This set comes in different color designs. The Cassis Black, Camel Yellow, Bordeaux Purple, Dark Grey, and Sepia Black. If you're going to ask, do the colors only apply to the pen body? No, because each pen body corresponds to a specific color. For the Cassis Black, it offers a burgundy ink color, yellow for camel yellow, purple for Bordeaux purple, gray for dark gray, and black for sepia black, obviously. Although I know that I'm going to use the sepia black often since I use black ink in writing paper notes, I can just refill the other four with my go-to ink refill, the Pentel Energel LRN 0.5mm nail tip refill and use the pre-installed ink on a later date. These pens are clippable and retractable just like the ordinary Zebra Swasa push clip gel pen, making them easy to store in pen case with elastic bands. So can't wait to use these pens! Next on the box from the pen category, we have the Pentel Metallic Fude Brush Pen in the Ginoho Silver color. I honestly only have one reason to buy this specific pen but after contemplating for the past few days before checking this out in my online cart, I thought I can also use this for art projects, calligraphy, or hobbies, anything under the sun. I'm also planning just planning everyone, although I'm still not sure whether I'm going to pursue this, but anyway, I'm planning to start my own bullet journal in the future, so this metallic pen might have its additional purpose. This pen is perfect for creating brush lettering, let you add these shining and glittering accents to your artwork. It features nylon bristles, which are of a high quality level, and a convenient push button to control ink flow. For calligraphers and artists out there, if you plan to purchase this metallic pen, I read a review that once the tip of the pen is dry, prepare hot water and dip the tip for about 1-2 to two minutes. Don't soak the entire pen please, just dip only the tip. Okay, enough ramble. This pen is officially added to Studiloscope's lore. Of course, I need to restock materials for note-taking since I already used them last semester. The only difference is that I'm not going to use a binder notebook for this semester even though my classes are still online. In connection to that statement, this is the Kokyo Campus B5 dotted rule notebooks in the 6mm line spacing. This is the very first time that I'm going to try this notebook since I always use the loose leaf paper variety of the same brand. I don't know if this will fit my expectations so I'll be making a video soon discussing my reviews and verdict on which is better between the two. The paper quality is the same as the loose leaf paper that I'm using. It's silky and smooth. The ink doesn't bleed through at the back of the paper. And lastly, each of them has 30 sheets, which is beneficial to me since I use 20 to 25 loose leaf papers in each subject, depending on the content that I receive from each one of them. Now, this might be controversial to everyone. Why on earth did you buy those loose leaf papers? Are you going to use them as a collection? Um, before we answer those queries, this product that I am holding right now is the Kokuyo Campus Sara Sara Loose Leaf Dotted Roll Paper in the size B5. 
If you have watched my first back to school haul, you will see that I bought a different variety of loose leaf paper because my trusted stationery shop notifies me that the dotted rule was sold out at that time. But luckily, the availability of this specific paper emerges, so now I have them with me for future purposes. I bought this because I don't want to purchase stationery supplies one by one. They'll be reserved for my next semester because I am planning to use my binder notebooks again once this term ends. Moving forward to our next category, we have the filed pen capsule pen case. If you're a follower of Studuloscope, first of all, thank you so much. <laughs> You'll know that I own one Dit Lab Smart Fit double pen case in a large size and an emergency pen case that I bought from Yoyoso. Now I'll be explaining the purpose of this pen case just in case you're wondering. <laughs> I still write paper notes during online classes and the Lihit Lab pen case I own eats a lot of space in my workspace. That's why I decided to purchase a standing pen case where I can put all of my writing essentials to save space and store them in a less bulky way. This pen case is waterproof, has two zipper openings for easy access, and has a magnetic snap button to lock your pen capsule in place. With this, the filed pen capsule pen case is now part of the family. Our last item is not considered a stationary item and it's not also fit into this box. <laughs> but this is essential for my in-person classes since I'm going to campus and I don't want to dehydrate myself. Since this brand spreads like wildfire, I might as well treat myself with a high quality tumbler. This is the Aquaflask Thermal Flask. This flask is engineered with double wall insulation with its thermo guard technology, meaning it keeps water cold for 24 hours and hot water for 8 hours. It is designed to be durable with its ergonomic design, and what's more exciting is that everyone who buys Aqua Flask gets a limited 1 year warranty upon purchase. And that is everything for the haul. Thank you very much for watching until the end. And if you want to see more future content like this one, I post them on this channel. So be sure to subscribe below to keep posted. You can also visit my Instagram account for updates about my upcoming content and photos of my paper notes. Anyways, I will see you at the next one.